watched the Botox in so long. Hello, hello, everybody. My name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. Oh, Shay, you look different. I know. <laughs> I, uh, we're going to be doing the Boom Docs' Funniest Moment. I'll be a residential black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look, I have got a black friend. Um, links for the original creator will be down below. Uh, before we get started, I will, I will preface this by saying the following. I used to do Riley's voice for cosplay, and I used to do it all the time. Nerd! So if I slip into Riley's voice, please do not. I know. It's, it's, it's kind of spot on and <laughs> I try not to do it sometimes, but it comes out. So we're just going to be, we're just going to be zipping into the funniest moments. And I hope, I hope y'all enjoy it because this is something brand new on my channel. I know we just do anime over here, but I, I just wanted to, I wanted to test this out. <clears throat> Keep in mind that I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. Oh, if you know who that is, put it down below. All right, let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Huey! Bruh. Damn! <laughs> Who the hell? Bruh, I'm being dead ass serious. Who had this knockout drag out fight with their sisters before? They sisters and brothers before, okay? You y'all get into an argument, bro. My older sister told me that deodorant expired and my arms was gonna fall off. Okay, I broke my older sister's wrist. Okay, we we, we had some knockout drag out fights. <laughs> you just got your happy little ass beat. What the hell? I ain't doing nothing, Granddad. I would just go go to Ed's house, and Huey said I couldn't go because he a hater. What the hell is wrong with you, Huey? If your brother wants to play with Ed and Rummy, that's his business. Granddad, Ed and Rummy are international criminals. There he go, hating again. <laughs> Boy, stop hating. What about the time when Riley and Ed were playing with a loaded shotgun and Riley shot Ed out of a second story window? Ah! Ah! Hey, Dad! Bro, that was still one of my favorite episodes, bro. <laughs> that did happen, didn't it? Okay, so just because Ed believes in his Second Amendment right to bear arms, we can't be friends? What you got against the Bill of Rights, Huey? The United States of America. Okay. Yeah. How about yeah, Huey? The time they stopped for gas and ended up robbing the Mini Mart. <laughs> <laughs> they was fighting terrorism, making the world safe for the freedoms that we enjoy today. Facts. That's messed you don't support the troops. Huey. United States of America. It is kind of messed up, Huey. Be back by dinner. <laughs> I love this. Riley, wake up! Yeah, I'm not sure yelling at him is gonna help, Granddad. How do you not know CPR? I tried to learn CPR, but they wouldn't let me. Cause I was black. <laughs> this nigga was clearly lying. <laughs> Sure, nowadays y'all can just run around and learn CPR whenever y'all want to. Just go around saving lives, resuscitating each other willy nilly. But when I was a young man, it used to be against the law to teach colored folks CPR, okay? Why the fuck you lying? Oh, Why you always lying? Man, that's not true. <laughs> Is that you? Oh boy, I thought we lost you there for a second. How was the Luther? Best thing ever. Sounds like an endorsement to me. That's that food coma. That's that shit. That's that good shit. <laughs> this is where you want to go to Gay Delicious. <laughs> I fell down the steps. I gotta go to the hospital. You ain't going to that hospital. No, really. I can't get up. Where's the love? Huh? Oh, no. <laughs> I got hit by yeah, a car. You ain't going to that hospital. Get your little butt up. Try to pull that bull people. jive on me. Come on. Get it. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Come on. Come on. <laughs> 
Where is your glass, boy? Glass? I don't need no glass. I takes mine to the head. Oh. I was never brave enough to do this. I was never who shout out to anybody that's brave enough to do this that was that was that had a tan. Um shout out to them who was brave enough to do this with a tan. I I don't know how people with non-tan are in their house, but let you have a tan. And when people say, well, Shay, you always make it a black or white issue. No, no, no. I'm being open. I'm the best black friend you can have. I'm telling you the goddamn truth. No, no. Okay. My, my friends who's Filipino. Okay. Uh, you can try this in a fucking house. Hawaiians couldn't try it. J Japanese couldn't try it. Uh, Korean couldn't try it. Asian. Uh, sorry. Uh, Chinese couldn't try it. And people going to be like, whoa, how you know all this stuff? I lived in Hawaii. Okay, the, literally Hawaii is basically, basically Hawaiians, Asian, and military. That is the breakdown. <laughs> you couldn't try none of this shit because you would get your ass beat. You, you just got your happy little ass beat. You think, you think a slipper won't come off and bust somebody in the head? Bruh, I have never, I saw a slipper. You may be like, well, what's a slipper? A slipper is 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 a flip flop, but they call them slippers. I saw a slipper. I, I, my friend's mama, Pola Pola Tink Tink. We in college now. We we're, we're in college. My friend's mama thought she saw one of our friends do this. She did not do this. She was um she was trying to see if there was anything left. She flipped that slipper off and chucked it and hit that girl right in the head. Headshot. Flipped it off, hit the girl right in the head. Oh Shay, that didn't happen. Yeah, it did. Because I was like, what the fuck? It it went by my head. Like, you know how you see that shit in the Matrix? It's like slow-mo and shit. It went right by my head. Bam! Hit that girl right in the face. Orange juice everywhere. She's like, she's like, I don't know where your nasty mouth has been. That is a known fact. Why you come in my house in disrespect? And, and I was just like, yeah, girl, why you do that shit? <laughs> Little stupid bitch. And she was trying to explain, but I was like, uh-uh, hell no, nah, man. Shit, she got another shoe. <laughs> oh, Shay, you were scared? Hell yeah. That woman was 5'9". Five, 5'9". Nine. Five, nine. All right? Just because they little don't mean that they won't kick somebody's ass. 5'9", and she had too much shit by her that had too much accurate precision. She didn't need no damn gun. Okay, she had items and she had precise aim and she had five kids. So five kids worth of throwing shit at and I was not going to be the six. Whew. A full day supply of vitamin C. <laughs> Boy, have you lost your mind? How are you going to drink my orange juice out of the garden? I don't know where your nasty lips have been. I know one thing, I ain't going to the store to get no more. See, I was like all in the granddad's mental mind. It was like psychology, but in reverse. The store and back, that's it. No hospital. Take my phone so I can reach you. <laughs> but don't call anyone. <laughs> look at that phone and look at your cell phone now. <laughs> <laughs> this is both of my cell phones. <laughs> oh, fuck, bruh. That shit was strong, though. Dad, granddad, is that a cell phone or a cordless payphone? <laughs> Shut up. This thing looks like a laptop. Stay away from that hospital. I went straight for the hospital. hospital. <laughs> Nearly a week it passes the shooting, and things seem like they was back to normal. You were looking for hate. Way to go. Shut up, punk. Instead of being Mr. Funny Nigga, why don't you try being Mr. Helper Nigga? Go jump the nigga and get his chain back. <laughs>
Friday. Man, I gotta find a way to get it before Thugnificent finds out. Riley, let the chain go. Thugnificent wants it back, he can handle it. Then they'll think I'm a punk and kick me out the crew. It's just rocks and metal. It's only worth what you're willing to give up for it. Is it worth getting hurt again? Yeah. yeah. Going to jail? Yeah. Yep. Getting killed? Yes, yep, sir. Bro. Kissing a man? Yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa, no! Whoa! Kissing a man, I mean, if it feels natural and that's what you're into, I mean... No, that don't count! That's a do-over! I didn't know you was gonna say that! But you really want that chain back. No! The answer is no! Death kills us like crack kill Pookie Like Schwarzenegger kill Tookie <laughs> Chewbacca was a Wookie Revolution Boo! No. Hey! hey. Erica Badu! That was real gay, my nigga! Cut that out! Shut up, Riley! What's wrong with you, Cairo? That nigga's corny! Corny? Nigga, you're corny! At least he's here! Why don't you go follow your punk-ass granddad back to Whitesville, fake nigga? <laughs> Bruh, if you honestly knew how many times I heard that shit... Oh my god, that triggered me. <laughs> Keep it real. Keep it real fucking real <laughs> you ain't black i got that so much from black people i got that so much from black people <laughs> you ain't black enough where you live at you ain't black enough <laughs> mm, i'm sorry that triggered me my bad I can't stand them fucking woke ass people. Oh, so fucking woke to the point where they need to fucking shut the hell up. Just, I'm so woke. Well, what, go down the street then, my nigga, because over here we sleep, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, man the fuck up or you're not going to make it through the end of this show. Okay, all right. You don't care about us no more. Why ain't you coming back to the hood? Nigga, I was never from there. It's not up for discussion. It's what the fuck it is. Does that ever like cross motherfuckers' minds? Oh, no. You you don't know about the struggle. No, I don't. I was a military brat. I know about the moving struggle, but I don't know about that struggle. The struggle is real. Okay. But why would I lie? Why would I why would I attest to something that I never been through? Don't worry, I'll wait. Oh, ah! hmm. Don't run, nigga. I'll see, see you. you. Uh, ah! oh, my God. Boy. <laughs> Yo, no. bro, you got to grab your punches for a blind, blind man to see it coming, granddad. Riley, the man obviously had a heightened sense of hearing. Oh, oh I thought granddad, granddad had a heightened sense of falling. No, that's enough. Now you just stop laughing at your granddaddy. It Yo. ain't that. What's wrong with you? Granddad, can't beat me if I on his forehead and braille. I said that's enough. <laughs> okay. Uh, what, what you, you gonna, gonna do? do? Beat me? Maybe I should get a blindfold first. Okay. I'm ready. Wait, maybe he's gonna, gonna fall, fall on me. <laughs> Riley, stop! <laughs> Granddad, yeah. Riley, Riley King, King just called. Said, Damn, I, I thought, thought I got my ass whooped. Ow! <laughs> hey, damn it, I hate you! You're ruining we my Herbert, life! Remember our Bitch, agreement? Candy. We have an agreement about I how we behave candy. at a store, Herbert. Give me candy! Give me candy! I want. Candy! I'm gonna be honest and serious, and this is this is just gonna sound really that shit. And I, I'm I'm on this is this is I think this is just straight liberal parents. Oh Shay, why you say that? Um, because I know I know some southern white parents that would have told that kid to fuck up. I'm going to start beating you now. I don't know when I'll stop. We we don't play that shit in the south. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Like my whole my homeboy, my homeboy. Don't don't play that shit. We don't play that shit in the south. I think it's just because everybody's like, well, we can talk it out with the kids and shit. And and, and I guess my generation of people is like, when the fuck did kids have rights? Fuck them kids. 
this is a brand new concept to my black ass. Me, me and my friends, we can, we go out all the time. And then when we see people acting the foolish, it's like, wow, I didn't know they could do that. What? Really? I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's a select group of people. And then I'm not even saying it's white people. It's a select group of people who want to just talk to their damn kids when they acting like this. I'm being open. I'm the best black friend you can have. I'm telling you the goddamn truth. And I promise you, boo boo, they keep acting like this. Either you going to set them down. Either you going to set them down. The law going to set them down or God going to set them down. Whichever one you want to have him settle down first. I'm just going to put it out there. I'm not playing, okay? I was in a grocery store three days ago. Oh, this gonna be good. <laughs> three days ago, this little kid, this little kid was like, mommy, I'm doing this. I ain't never seen a backhand so quickly. And then the, and then she she said to this little boy, she, she backhand him real quick in the mouth, pop. And she went down to his level and she's like, I dare you to cry. And don't you fucking forget. I was like, oh my God. That's a good parent. That's a good parent. You ain't gonna tell your parent what the fuck to do. They just don't know how to make him stop. That is a known fact. Have you ever tried beating his ass? <laughs> what was the bell? Uh, One, two. <laughs> Bruh, that woman, that woman went from a regular, that woman went from a, reg, a regular woman to, she, she rose above the legend. <laughs> the legend that you fear. <laughs> She's not no average mama. She a mama that beat your ass. <laughs> this is what I hate about R. Kelly fans. Oh my God. Especially R. Kelly. Yes, the government conspires to put a lot of innocent black men in jail on fallacious charges. But R. Kelly is not one of those men. He pees on people. Love, I want to piss on you. <laughs> we all know the nigga can sing. Yeah, we do. He was singing in the jail. Amen. I'm so happy this is more relevant than it needs to be. <laughs> but what happened to standards? What happened to bare minimums? You a fan of R. Kelly? You want to help R. Kelly? Then get some counseling for R. Kelly. Introduce him to some older women. Hide his kids <laughs> for but don't pretend like the man is a hero. And stop the damn dancing. Act like you got some goddamn sense, people. Bruh, I remember I used to say that shit and then everybody was like, but he made ignition. Man, what am I going to do without 12 play? And I'm like, think about, man, that nigga, that nigga was in the 12 year olds. Why you think it was called 12 play? Stop it. Dang, don't play around here. One of y'all like to explain this. Uh, you mean the orange juice or the mini skirt? Which one y'all drank the last glass of orange juice? That's the last food they supply of vitamin C. What am I supposed to do about my vitamin C now? Y'all need to start appreciating your granddaddy. I went and spent your inheritance on this beautiful house in this neighborhood. And all I asked you to do is act like you got some class. Hey, Learn some math. This is a thing. It means don't act like niggas. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about right there. We don't use the N-word in this house. Granddad, you said the word nigga 46 times yesterday. I count it. Nigga, you may not like it. Okay, I, I'll admit, I say, I say nigga a lot. <laughs> I do, I do, I do, I do. I mean, one of my homeboys, he's like, he's like, Shay, what would you, what, what else would you use besides that word? And I was like, I don't even know. Like... It's like a person, place, a thing for me. I don't know. It, it's a noun, a verb, an adjective. It's, it's everything and everything else. Like, I, I don't know what other word I can use. But I move y'all out here to expand your horizon. There's a new white man out here. He's refined. For example, did you know that the new white man loves gourmet cheese? Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> did you say cheese? Yep, 
cheese. You give the meanest white man a piece of cheese and he turn into Mr. Rogers. Granddad, that doesn't make sense. Don't you talk back to me, boy. Granddad, you can't tame the white supremacist power structure with cheese. Oh, yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, because I laid my... It was like, it's like when, it's, I mean, this reminds me of, y'all remember when Kelly Jenner was like, hey, yo, stop the police brutality. Here's a Coke. No, not a Coke, a Pepsi. And the police was like, hey, yo, maybe we should stop beating people up. Pepsi. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> game down quite flat. Game? Okay. What you know about, about the game, game granddad? granddad? I know the game. Taking women out to eat, giving them free meals? What part of the game is that? You taking her to Red Lobster with the cheddar biscuits. The fam ain't eating cheddar biscuits, but this random broad is eating cheddar biscuits. I know the game. Your granddaddy knows the game. I know this so much. Game, game recognized game, granddad. I recognize game. Your granddaddy recognized game. Game recognized game. And you looking kind of unfamiliar right now. I, I can't... Where's Granddad? Can I help you, sir? <laughs> I ain't got time to mess around with y'all. I got a date. Get out the way. Don't, Don't do it, it Granddad. Granddad. Don't, Don't feed her. Come on now, stop. Get off Don't my leg. I used to say that to my sister all the time. Every time she went out with her friends. <laughs> feed her. Don't try to pull me back. Get the hell no. get off me, boy. You want to come over to my house tomorrow after school and watch TV? No. Do you want to come over and play video games? No. Do you want to come over and have a jump rope contest? He don't like you. I'm going back home to Chicago. For good? No, I wish. We're going for a funeral, one of my granddad's old friends. But I'm going to get to see my best friend, Cairo. Cairo is your best friend? Yeah, but I haven't talked to him since I moved. How can he be your best friend if you never talk to him? I don't think I have a best friend. Huh, sucks for you. Swallow sadness! Nigga. <laughs> oh, that hit harder now when I was an adult. Oh my god. I feel bad for her. That is sad. I am sad. And her hair matches my head. Really, nigga? Well. Never come back. Have a nice life. Bye. Ew, Miss Dubois. Your peach cobbler look like throw up. Boy! It do look. It look like throw up with peas in it. Miss Dubois, you been eating peas. What? No, come here. What is had... wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with her? I, I... She the one who brought vomit over here in a Tupperware container. That is not vomit. It just look like vomit. <sighs> now apologize to Miss Dubois. Um, it, it, it's okay. Really. Fine. Miss Dubois, I'm sorry your peach cobbler look like vomit with pee. Damn it, boy! Please, please, you know, we don't have to. I don't care if you be me, Granddad, I won't eat it. That is disgusting. It's completely uncalled for. You'll eat it if I have to hold you down and shove it down your throat. Really, I didn't mean for it to be. I, I know what you try to do. You try to kill me. I hate you. You are going to eat I that I don't want to eat that cobbler. You're going to act like I you don't like it. Eat that that shit look nasty as fuck. Bruh, I'm being dead serious. I'll, I'll, I have a story. Y'all gotta, uh, is, I, if y'all want me to actually, like, I have so many story times that I shove into all these videos. If y'all actually want me to do, like, compile all my story times, I'll do it. I just didn't think people would actually want to listen to them. But I had a story time about, uh, about potato salad. It said, what am I trying not to laugh? So whichever one, y'all put the timestamps. There you go. Out of sympathy. She came to see the game. She wanted to be entertained. Oh, the white woman's got a big heart. Lord, she's got a big heart. <laughs> Is your Granddad, home. Granddad, Mr. Dubois at the door. Good. It was a bitch. <laughs> well, Tom, I'm sorry to hear about the split. I would love to let you crash it, but I just don't know where you would stay. Maybe the guest room? No. Who told him about the guest room? 
<laughs> Thank you so much, Robert. See, boy, see why I tell you marriage is bad? I don't care what <laughs> nobody say. I ain't never getting married. <laughs> Statistically speaking, it was bound to fail anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the end because the last part is copyrighted because it's like I let it burn and stuff like that. And come on now, y'all already know I did too much editing to let anything get copyrighted over here. Uh, ask the game that shit. I'm petty. I'm petty. I'm petty. Oh, bitch. Anyway, my name is Shay T. So you can call me Shay for short. And like my grandmother always says, leave them down below. I'm sorry. I did the boom docs. This is part of my childhood. I love it so much. If y'all don't understand how much boom docs affected me as a child, it, it, it really did, man. Riley was my spirit animal, and Huey, Huey was. I was more like Riley growing up. <laughs> so, again, um, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and everything else. I I think I just know a lot of boondocks. I mean, like, I was going to act like I didn't know none of the lines, but I was going to say them anyway, so. Break. Break your fucking equipment, Shay. Anyway, again, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You call me Shay for short, and like my grandmother always says, what the fuck? the fuck? So long. How do I say this shit? Got a kingdom and you never had a place in it. No, I'm mad. Rain with the rage of this. Fuck a train and all, cause I'm a sad you press. Goddamn, this is a royalty check. If you see me rolling, avoiding this best. If your life a movie, I'm spoiling the debts and the bed, I'm collecting my royalty check.